Okay, completely different topic. I would like to share with you uh, a feedback that I have obtained uh, from my student about the use of uh, Julia, Jump, and the new package multi-objective uh, algorithm uh, introduced this year. So, uh, yeah. I came just back to when I came to to jump. I came to uh, to to Julia through jump. It was in uh, February 2016 during the French uh, OER uh, conference, and during a chat, I was talking with our colleagues. Uh, I was looking for uh, refreshing uh, my knowledge about uh, the open source software to start a new research project. And uh, my uh, objective at that time was to develop a solver for multi-objective optimization. And then it suggests to me to, to try uh, Julia and Jump. And since, as you see, uh, I have uh, started very early uh, to, to try uh, an old version of Julia. And I've been convinced. And I have tried immediately uh, the next year to introduce uh, Jump uh, in my uh, course uh, oriented in uh, operation research. So this is the, the, the kind of course that I'm giving uh, 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 in operation research. And what I think is interesting, I, I have the chance to, 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 to teach to different profile of student. Student in computer science in my university, uh, then I'm covering a lot of these lectures. But also a student uh, with a profile on, in mathematics, and uh, more recently, a student with a profile in business, so in a uh, university in Austria. So then uh, this year, as I've observed, after six years of maintaining a package, it's very difficult to get a feedback from the user. OK, a user come to you uh, because something is not implemented, something is wrong, uh, they, they are in face of a bug. But uh, when we are trying to, to collect some feedback about what is good, what is less good, what is missing, difficult to get an answer. Then I've asked to my student, uh, that I proposed to my student to answer to a survey. And this is in my university, uh, in, um, in the last year of the bachelor uh, level. And uh, Julia, and more precisely, uh, Jump is introduced uh, in the labs uh, of this uh, course. And uh, this year, you see, the objective is to uh, uh, so to introduce students to to write models and to to uh, to publish models uh, in order to have something very uh, good, then explicit, implicit uh, mod models, uh, dense and sparse array, and etc. And at that time, they 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 use uh, the servers to to solve the, the, the these these models. And the project this year was uh, about the TSP, and then we have ask to, to implement uh, two well-known uh, models, uh, the miller tucker zemlins and, and compare to the danzig Ferguson johnson and The first one is uh, uh, straightforward to implement, and the other one, as you know, we have to uh, cut uh, the subsequent cycle. Okay? Then it was done with uh, the Julia uh, 1.8, uh, and this is, it was during this semester. So. So quickly, the profile of the, those students are students in computer science, mainly uh, programming in Java and in C++. Julia and OCaml has been introduced this year. And what is it's nice, they, Julia come just after Java and C++ in terms of what they are ready to continue for the next year. And just in uh, uh, asking to them, uh, okay, uh, what, what kind of language uh, do you like to, to use? You see, Julia come, arrive in the second po position between Java and C++, which is very nice. So then in the survey, 
the answer was uh, em enfin, it was an empty uh, square. Then it was not guided uh, answered, and then a lot of uh, uh, answered were. The language and the structure was very simple, clear, intuitive, readable, and etc. On, on the, about the, the negative answer, I want to say uh, they complain on a, error management and also a, a little bit on the documentation. They say the documentation is rich, but so rich it's sometimes difficult to, to obtain the, the information that they are uh, looking for. Okay, then they, what they, they say here, maybe to, to work a little bit again to, on the documentation and on the error management, maybe with the forthcoming version of Julia, uh, the error management will be, uh, okay, more easy now to follow for the student. About jump. The very good news, they say, uh, jump is very intuitive in, uh, to, to, to be used. Easy to, to write variables, constraints, uh, to solve the model uh, easily. Uh, and this is uh, very natural when they are, they are writing the mathematical model to, and to transform it to, to join the jump model. Okay. Again, what they say here, maybe, is to extract data from the creator model is not intuitive for the student. I want to we say, when when we want to access to a model outside the, the function where the model is uh, defined, of course, you have to refer to this. And they say, okay, we have to, okay, everything is simple except that point. We have to take care about the syntax in order to access to the variable and et cetera. Okay, maybe they are uh, expecting some method in order to, to help that. Okay. Uh, about the second course that where uh, um, I'm, I'm lecturing, it's uh, in South Brittany. This is the profile of student is mathematician, no. And no, um, they, are, they, they come to me with already a background in, with, in Julia, uh, Marc Sauveau, who is a colleague. He introduced uh, Julia in another uh, course. And then here, we have moved from V of the generic, this is a package that we have uh, developed in the past, to multi-objective algorithm. And uh, we, the, the objective of the student here is again to write models and to solve multi-objective models using uh, very uh, standard algorithms like lexicographic uh, method, epsilon constraint method, but also with three objectives, the Kerlik and Sain uh, algorithm, okay? Then this is the configuration uh, you, uh, that um, used for, the, uh, for this course. The profile of students completely different. For, uh, they are mathematicians, and mainly they come to me uh, with Python and uh, with uh, also uh, Julia. Okay, and then uh, what is very interesting is they, they are ready to continue with Python at the same level than Julia. And this is interesting because the, those students are older than the, in my other class. There are some uh, teachers in a secondary school, and they say, for example, a student in science should be caught in junior because there is not a lot of simple and very effective, efficient language for computing modeling. Okay. Then the, the feedback here is very interesting. And from the uh, multi-objective point of view, they say anyone can understand how to code in JUMP. MOA, multi-objective algorithm, is simple to handle. What just they say, OK, okay and the, the package is new. It has been introduced uh, during this uh, semester. They say. Uh, with the example, it's easy to, uh, uh, to, to survive and to, to use the, the package. But to find the attribute and etc., maybe they, they need some uh, 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 more information about that. And maybe I can contribute during the next month uh, on, this, uh, on this aspect. Just to conclude, I would like to uh, give an announcement. We are organizing in October in Paris uh, Julia and Jump Optimization Day during three days, uh, and the, you, here with uh, you can see the uh, program committee, uh, and this is located in downtown of Paris.